Hello everyone, this is Namar Nam again. Uh, this video is about making the CMOS inverter and this is the part 2. So if you haven't watched the video part 1, then go back to the, the, the video list and check out for the part 1. Okay, so uh, the last video, previous video, we made the N well and P well and the punch through stop here, right? So we are very ready to start the CMOS fabrication right now. So this was step 44 and let's go to the next few uh, steps, okay? Oh, since we did the, the strip, we better do the cleaning next here. So step 45 will be the cleaning. And next step 46 is to make the gate oxide. Uh, these days we used half hafnium dioxide, which has very high dielectric constant. But in this case, we just use the silicon oxide here. So with the six nanometer thickness, with a dry oxidation, we make a slight, very thin layer of um, the, the silicon oxide here. And next we deposit the poly silicon here on the top in the thick layer because we are going to make the gate with dual polysilicon here. Okay, so there's a silicon on the top and with the gate photo mask we are going to uh, do the photo risography for the gate photo. Uh, we put the polymers here as you can see and if you etch the gate polysilicon then these parts will be gone. And next, uh, do the PR strip and see the PR strip again and cleaning. Then what we have is a small portion of polysilicon on the top. This is undoped yet, so it will be doped a bit later. So just this to the next step. Uh, and then uh, you do the gate polysilicon reoxidation for a brief time. And we are going to do the photo process on the NLDD. Uh, in this case, you implant acetine in uh, 30 kilovolts with uh, this concentration on here. And at this time, as you can see, uh, the doping concentration is very high compared to the previous step over, over something like this. This is actually the, the, this will be the, the source and drain. So we have to put a bit higher concentration on here. And after you implant these parts, you strip the, the outer polymer layer. As you can see with the PR strip, acid PR strip cleaning, very typical three processes. Uh, then you have something like here. Uh, something like this in here, there's a slight um, source and drain made. Now next, you do the same thing with a positive side here. Uh, so base, uh, all, all the details are, the, uh, all the main processes are the same, just slight change of the detail. Uh, instead of acetine, you use the BF2 plus with a similar, like a similar uh, density. And after that, you do the PR strip and acid PR strip and cleaning again. Then now you have, uh, oh, I forgot to draw that. You have something that doesn't have this one, right? The polymer is gone. And next you make a side wall spacer. So these small blackish parts are called side wall. Uh, if you don't remember, you have to go back to the oxidation part and uh, see the the video again, I guess. So you uh, slightly deposit the TOS sil silicon oxide and you etch that layer. Then since the, there's a, in these kind of steps, the etch rate is kind of slow, like the etch rate is kind of low. So those parts are not clearly etched and left uh, at there. So that's the sidewall spacer. It's called self-aligned sidewall spacer because it's self-aligned, right? 
Uh, and next, uh, you have to do the uh, source drain photo. Exact. This one is the actual source and drain. Um, the former one was, as you can see here, it was the low doped drain. So this, uh, in this step, the concentration and energy is even higher than the LDD process, as you can see here. It was like 30 and like something like this, but it's, uh, it has higher concentration and higher energy, which goes inside to the, under the LDD uh, layer. Uh, and you do the typical cleaning these again. Now you have small LDD uh, layer here and actual source and drain. Uh, on this side. Next, uh, basically you do the same thing on the P side too. So at the uh, at the P side with source drain photo. Uh, oh shit! I forgot to mention that here you use the mask seven, which you have uh, already used on the LDD process. So when you make the LDD layer. And when you make the actual source and drain, you use the same mask, which you can reduce the number of the mask, and which is cheaper, as I explained at the former video. Uh, let's continue. Oh, okay, so you do the same thing on the P side. Also, the mask is the same as the P side LDD layer over here, exact M7. Uh, and you do the implantation too with a higher higher concentration. Then you will have uh, and the PR strip acid strip. And here you do the RTA, which is called rapid thermal annealing. So uh, after you implant the uh, ions inside of here, there will be a lot of damage on this side, on the top of this. So you clean up the messy uh, defects with a quick annealing. Um, the reason, uh, if you don't remember why uh, you have to use the rapid thermal annealing instead of just normal annealing, you have to go back to my videos and review some of the videos that I explained about that. And typically do the cleaning. Now, what we have right now is a total uh, CMOS set without any metallization. So there is an N well and P well here, and these are the punch through stop. Uh, and there's a slight P plus and P here, which is the source and drain. And there's a N plus and N here, which is also source and drain. Uh, I mean, I mean the source and source source and the, the LDD layer. And there will be the polymer, which is already clearly doped well. Uh, and you have the spacer right now. So basically, we are done with making the CMOS itself. So we are going to start. Uh, making the the metal layer okay. So uh, we decided to use the uh, titanium silicide. So we first deposit the titanium metal on the top, uh, and you do the silicide formation. Silicide means self-aligned silicide. So if you don't remember about this, of course, obviously you have to do the review by yourself. Uh, so there's a uh, two steps first. Uh, the uh, silicide formation number one is a RTP process with slightly low temperature, uh, and you do the metal strip. Then the, all the uh, unused metals are gone, and after the after that you do the silicide formation again with a higher temperature. Then now all the leftover titanium is formed will will be transferred to titanium silicide, which is which was. Uh, on the top of the silicon, so, such as like source and drain, or even the the polysilicon gate. So the all the metal contacts are done by the titanium silicide. And next, you will be uh, depositing the interlayer dielectric (ILD). So it's a it's a TOS silicon oxide uh, with a seven thousand angstrom, which is like seven hundred nanometers, pretty thick. It's kind of all messy. Uh, well, um, the the actual like uh, relative heights are kind of not so incorrect in this 
uh, drawings. Some of the parts are exaggerated on the thickness, some of the parts are not. So just just um, think that this is just an um, explanatory picture, not the exact image. Okay. So, step 82. Uh, on the dielectric that you have deposited, the ILD, you do the contact photo. So with these kind of mask, uh, you do the photolithography and you will have some polymers here. Oh, I forgot to draw. Wait, where's my pen? Okay, I got it. Uh, these this, uh, photos are done by always here. Okay, this part two is done by here. I'll explain later. Hmm. So uh, there will be the photoresist on the top. And you do the contact edge with CF34, CF, uh, CHF3, CF4 with argon. Then you can have the high aspect ratio etching. If you don't remember that, you also have to go back to the etching part and review yourself. Uh, then you will have something like this, okay? Oh, after the cleaning thing. So these are the via. These these um, these parts. These parts are the via. Mm. And you deposit the Thai nitride, titanium nitride, uh, as a barrier layer. If you just plug in the tungsten itself, then tungsten will be all diffused in into the. Uh, silicon oxides or or the the, the the source and drain so you have to first uh, deposit the titanium nitrate first and then you deposit the tungsten and you do the etch back after that you planarize the layer uh, with the SOG and CMP CMP is chemical mechanical polishing and SOG was a uh, Spin on glass technique, I guess. I don't really remember that one. Yeah, I guess it's a spin on glass technique. Um, it's to make sure that it's so it's plain that the next uh, next steps it's easier for you. Okay, and since we are going to do the metal uh, layer, we have to do the pre-metal cleaning, uh, and after that you do the metal one deposition with aluminum and 1% of silicon inside. If you don't remember why you have to add 1% of silicon, go back to the metal uh, part on my video and watch it, okay? Uh, seven, uh, with a 7,000 Armstrong, which is pretty thick. Uh, and you do the metal photo liso uh, with the mask number nine. And the typical things, you know, uh, do the lithography with a PR resist on the top, and you the etch, back, etch down there and PR strip, passive PR strip, then you will now have the layer one metal here. These are the metal one layer. Ah. And again, you, you deposit the dielectric for the via on the top here because uh, you have to, you'll be using one more layer of metal. Uh, with an 8,000 ohm strong and you do similar things again and again uh, you do the photography of the via uh, and you etch the deposited silicon oxide for the via and you do the PR strip I see the PR strip then now you have something like this these these parts these parts are the newly deposited the position at uh, the, the silicon oxides okay step 100 so next also the next step will be the metal uh, step so pr you have to do the pre-metal cleaning on in here and again you deposit the metal 2 layer on the top with one micrometer uh, so there will be aluminum and 1% of silicon uh, same reason uh, number two, uh, and then uh, you do the metal two photo on top, and you etch those parts and strip the PR. Now you have something like this. So there's a second metal layer. Now you have metal two. Now 
we will passivate all this device. So next step will be passivation dielectric deposition with one micrometer of TEOS uh, silicon oxide. Uh, and you do the pads photo uh, with shape like this. And you etch the part and strip the PRs and do the cleaning. And now finally we have the CMOS inverter uh, device with uh, semiconductor fabrication process. Now you put the tip on this part and you read the, the whatever you want, okay? So this is the entire process. Uh, when I first started making this video, I thought it was 107 steps, but there were some steps missing. So yeah, it's 111 steps instead. Yeah, 107, 111 is kind of similar. So this is all this this is just like a simplest device that you can make in the fabrication and in the semiconductor industry. If you want to build something more complicated, such as Ryzen uh, 399X Threadripper or the Intel uh, um, i9 series, or or like a AP unit, some like Snapdragon or like a DRAM or something, then you have to be way way more complicated than this one. This is like a simplest process you can ever find. So this will be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and hope you see you again. So leave some comments if you want to see more English video or uh, ask me any questions if it's so if it's possible for me to answer I will do that okay. Uh, Thanks for watching my video. See you later. Bye.